Hi everyone, I'm Joe with another Ask Plano question. Why is traffic in Plano so bad and what can be done to fix it? One way the city of Plano is working to manage traffic more efficiently is through traffic light retiming. Every traffic light you come across in Plano is part of a major system that works together to get you from point A to point B. To help you understand how our traffic lights work, let's take a look back in time. Back in the day, traffic lights were on set timers. No matter what was happening on the road, lights would change after a programmed amount of time. If you were sitting in a log jam of cars trying to get through, too bad, the timer went off. You and all the cars behind you had to wait. Even if there wasn't another car in sight heading the other direction, you had to wait your turn. As you can tell, this can be very frustrating. Fast forward in time to detection signals. You may remember these. They were also known as pressure plate signals. When you drove your car up to a traffic light, your car would activate a sensor under the pavement that would send a signal to the traffic light that there was a car waiting to move through the intersection. This was a huge improvement. It meant less time waiting in an intersection when no other cars were around. There was only one problem with this pressure plate system. It worked in an isolated fashion. You could activate a sensor at one light, but then hit a red light at every other one. In that case, you would need to activate the sensors at every intersection you drove through. That's where Plano's Smart City Initiative comes into play. Our traffic lights have gone through a major change. Coordinated systems are now all in the same master clock, with timing planes that work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What does that mean for you? Well, if you're driving down a major roadway, traffic signals talk with each other, measuring data instantly, kind of like your brain. This means if everyone drives the speed limit on a major thoroughfare, they will be able to hit multiple green lights in a row. If everything goes according to plan, the lights will get you where you need to go in the fastest and safest way possible. Traffic is fluid, it's always changing, and there are a few factors that can throw off your timing. School zones, crosswalk timers, emergency vehicles, and bad driving decisions can throw the system off for a few light cycles. When there's an emergency, a fire truck or ambulance will send a signal to a traffic light telling it to turn all intersections it's about to drive through green for them. This allows our public safety officers to get to an emergency situation as soon as possible and may build up traffic and delay your time spent at a light. Sometimes, it can take up to four cycles of the light to get traffic moving normally again. So even if you find yourself waiting through multiple cycles, it may be because an emergency vehicle recently passed through the intersection before you got there. School zones can also throw off the timing of the lights. Safety for kids walking to school is the number one priority. School zones slow down traffic and can throw off the timing of the lights, especially when children cross streets. Last but not least are bad drivers. They move into an intersection without any room to move forward, and the light changes while they're blocking traffic in the middle of the intersection. That causes a backup and sends a ripple effect of traffic leading to other nearby intersections. It slows everyone down and creates a safety net. So the next time you're sitting in a traffic light, remember, Intersections are part of a larger system that works together to make sure you and everyone can move safely and efficiently through our city. That's it for this episode of Ask Plano. If you have a question, send it to me at askplano at plano.gov or on any of the city's social media channels. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you.